better, faster, stronger. As an athlete, this is what I would train for every single day. But my question always was, what's the right type of training for me? So I'd read the latest fitness magazines. I would seek advice from the collective wisdom of the internet. And what I found was that high intensity interval training is the way to go. Until I read more research and found all the reasons why you shouldn't be doing high intensity interval training. <laughs> do you know that cardio can damage your heart? But if you want to improve heart health, you should do more cardio. Stretching is good for you. Stretching is bad for you. It's all noise. This is a problem. It's a problem not only for self-trained athletes, but the coaches and the trainers that we talk to grapple with the same issue. How do you optimize performance? What's the right type of training to make myself or my athletes better, faster, stronger? And it's tough because it's different for everyone. People respond differently to the same training regimen. Well, the answer lies within personal, real-world, real-time data. A great American engineer and statistician once said, without data, you're just another person with an opinion. Well, we couldn't agree more with this, and that's why we started Commit. At Commit, our mission is to use data analytics to help coaches, trainers, and individuals optimize their training plans. And the way we're doing this is by leveraging all of the data that people are collecting. Coaches are finally recording what their athletes do and how they perform electronically. Individuals are wearing wearable technology and applications to track their every step. The quantified self-movement is hot, which is perfect because it's exactly what we need to take the next step. And that is to use machine learning algorithms that can predict what training plan is right for you. And as we collect more of your personal data, we can provide daily direction as to what you should do, how you should train, so that you get better, you get faster you get stronger. Collect, predict, direct. Now, this is no trivial task, obviously, but luckily we have the right team in place to make it happen. Dan Cresimano, Dan Dingman, and I quit our jobs three months ago and moved into our parents' basement to solve this problem. I'm going to join the picture here. Okay. The three of us, we've been best friends since we were 10 years old. Okay, A long time. We're passionate about data. We're passionate about human performance. Correctly using one to improve the other is a massive opportunity, huge. But we have to start somewhere. Competitive swimming, why? Because in swimming, optimization matters. Hundreds of a second are the difference between first and last place. So we can make a material impact on the sport. Second, there's quantifiable inputs and outputs. Coaches record what the athletes do, the inputs, how they perform, the outputs. We're building models to understand the relationship between the two. And lastly, we were swimmers. In high school, Dan Dingman and I were all Americans. And Dan Cosimano was, well, just an American. <laughs> Sorry, Dan. Um, it's actually Dan's birthday today, so a big happy birthday to Dan Cosimano. So the three of us, the three amigos, we got together. First thing we did was we picked up the phone and we called over 50 coaches. We said, send us all your data, give us everything you got. What we found was that half the coaches recorded it in either Word or Excel, which is better than paper and pencil. The other half used Team Manager, a workout management tool. The half that didn't use this software was because it looks like this. It's difficult to use. It adds no extra value. So we said, you know what? We're going to build our own. Over the last 10 weeks, the three of us designed and developed a new application for coaches to record their workouts and view trends in their training. It's easy to use. It has a beautiful interface. And it adds value through data visualizations. We're happy to announce that this week, we began selling this product to coaches. And honestly, the feedback, the, the receptiveness we've gotten so far, it's, it's been awesome. Great concept. Great job, it will help me tremendously. Congrats to you all, our sport needs this. Now, let's not forget that the reason we built this is to collect a lot of data so we can get to the fun stuff, the analytics. Well, this product has already helped us do that. I've been using Team Manager for over 10 years. Here's the file. 
We've built the technology to take raw database files from Team Manager and populate our application like that. It's awesome because coaches have all their historical practices in our app and it makes them really easy to convert. This is my favorite from Coach Steve. Is it too much if I send over 15,000 practices and results? No, Steve, it's never too much. <laughs> With just one week on the market, we've already collected over 200,000 practices, over 50,000 new results for over 500 athletes, which is a great start, phenomenal. So, yeah, thank you. That's we're, we're, we're really, really proud of this, and it gives us the confidence that we're going to achieve the lofty goals that we set out to achieve, which are month three, athlete application that syncs to the coach's account. Month six, 15,000 swimmers on our platform. Month nine, $100,000 of annualized revenue from our monthly subscriptions. And obviously the end goal is to expand beyond swimming. The three of us are gonna work tirelessly to apply our technology to other sports and the general health and fitness market. So with that, we ask you, what are you training for? Take out your phones right now, send us an email at founders at commitanalytics.com, even if it's just one word. And by doing so, we'll keep you updated as we hit each key milestone, and you'll be the first to know when we're seeking capital to rapidly expand into other markets. That way we can make you better, faster, stronger, and richer. Thank you.